I want to talk to you first about Kai Havertz, uh, because obviously for many, he struggled a little bit with Chelsea last season, but he's a flexible player. He's a winner. You surely see something in him that others don't. How does Havertz improve the squad and what specifically do you like about him? Well, he's a player that I admire for a long time and uh, we had the possibility to bring him to the club. I had a few chats about um, how he was feeling about it and, and straight away I was so convinced that he's a player and, and the type of personality that we want in the, in the team to take us forward. Uh, he's so versatile, he's still very young, but with incredible qualities and, and talent that fit in really well in, in what we want to do, in what I want um, in the team and how I want to develop the team. And, um, and I'm sure it was going to be a, a big success. How does Declan Rice immediately make an impact in the starting eleven for you? What does he offer that maybe you were missing last season? He brings leadership, he brings um, an aura and he brings special qualities that we didn't have in our in our midfield. But with got experience in the league, he's done already a lot at, at 24 years old. But um, but he has something. I saw that um, for a long time with him. He has a, that personality, that way of thinking, the way he plays for his teammates and, and the way he's capable of controlling football matches that... Um, I wanted with me. I think we've made a few huge efforts to, to try to bring him to the club and, and I'm delighted and very grateful that uh, we've been able to, to bring him in. Frank, we've talked about Arsenal a lot. Is it easier or harder for them going into the start of this season given what they achieved last year and the new set of expectations now that are associated with Arteta's side? Oh, it's a, it's a bigger pressure. Uh, they have to prove to the world that Dawson Hall is back to, to, their, to their best, uh, like they used to be. Uh, last year, sh uh, given the, 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 maybe the, the possibility of thinking that they are back to, uh, to their best, but you have to prove and you have to confirm. Uh, the year before was still a mess. That wasn't that. We didn't want to see that. And last year, they showed for, I would say, 75% of the season that they, they, were, they were the best team in England. They were playing well, they were spot on everywhere, they were playing good football, they were scoring nice goal, at the back they were strong, and suddenly Saliba got injured, and some others as well, um, they, um, Shaka I think got injured, and they started to lose uh, games, and City came back. So the pressure is big because everybody wants to see Arsenal fighting against Manchester City, and I already said during the show that for me, it's going to be 10 times more difficult because City is going to be there. They are mature, they know exactly what they have to do, and Arsenal will have to confirm that what happened last season wasn't an accident. They have the player that they need, they, everywhere they have talents, but the chemistry that they had last season, they, have to, they will have to find it back because they lost it at the end of the season. That's the, the biggest challenge that they have. Arsenal really is fascinating, isn't it? Because if they start badly, it's like, well, what, what, where's, what's happened? You know, you've brought in these new players, you've been backed, and yet you can't put in the same sort of, sort of performance you did for the majority of last season. But if you start well, then the excitement builds. Like, from an Arsenal fan, if I was an Arsenal supporter, you'd be quite excited about the start of this season. Well, you'd have to be. I mean, the, the amount of money that they've spent in this off-season is telling everybody that they're serious, mm -hmm. that they want to improve off of... Uh, the three quarters of the season that Frank mentioned, which was, yeah, they, they, there was a legitimate chance of winning the title last year. Now, we all know that m what Man City had been able to do over a period of time was exactly what Frank was talking about that Arsenal need to do. They need to then say, yes, this wasn't a one-off. We, we are back here all the way. And these pieces that we're bringing in in this offseason are going to make us significantly better. Now, we all know you still have to do it. Yep. Doing it on paper, bringing people in, and then getting everybody on the same page from day one is the goal. And Arteta speaks highly of Havertz. There's a lot of Chelsea fans that I'm sure are questioning the comments that he just made, that Havertz is the guy that he has seen over the years that can take him to that next level because it didn't happen for him at Chelsea. Now, we know that several players have gone on from Chelsea to prove that they were what they were going to be. And it, we'll see if Havertz is that. But yes, there has to be a massive excitement from the Arsenal fans thinking that this could be the year. What helps Havertz is that he's not the number one signing. Yeah. 
And I think that kind of, that, that is so, surely got to give him a little bit of time, because otherwise, if it was just him that's come in, not Declan Rice, all the focus on Havertz, you know, can you be that player that we saw you in the Bundesliga be? You, you know, the truth is, I, I'm not sure that Declan Rice is signing affects Kai Havertz at all. Do you not think so? Like, I'm just talking about the spotlight, the, no, the focus. Well, I, 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 I don't, because the focus is so different in, in, in Kai Havertz. I, I think everybody's questioning, um, to, to the question put, put to Arteta, is what are you seeing in, in, in this player? Because everybody from the outside, and I think Chelsea fans, Chelsea and Arsenal fans most included, are wondering exactly what attracted Arteta um, to have it. I, I'm, I'm waiting to see how he fits into this system. I'm waiting to see what Arteta is able to get out of him. I think the, the biggest plus for, for Kai Havertz is the belief that Mikel Arteta quite clearly has in him. Right. Um, that, for me, is, 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 is pivotal. Rice is different. Rice is, is, you know, he's... Everybody's kind of raved over, over Declan Rice's performances and not really questioned what he brings to Arsenal. Maybe they question the price tag, but not what, what he brings or whether, whether it was needed. Havertz is, is just different. And um, I think everybody just kind of waited to see what, what he's able to deliver. Do you see a comparison in Rice of, you know, maybe Lampard? Going from West Ham to Chelsea, and then what they were able to do is there a uh, not 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 I, it's, 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 player it's, for player, but the idea of how important it is for an a big English team to make sure they have key English players. Mm. I, I, I well, think they're the best players. Mm. Mm. I, I think the signing of of, of, of Frank Lampard. It, it's very different from Declan Rice. And, and listen, I understand the parallels and I, I recognise the similarities. But Frank Lampard was always a goal-scoring midfielder. Even at 11 million, I think, was, was the purchase price that he left West Ham to go to Chelsea for. People questioned that. I think there were a lot of question marks from, from Chelsea fans, certainly to start with, around the signing of Frank Lampard. I think I'm also right in saying that he joined Chelsea the season that... that West Ham got relegated. So there was, a, again, a different kind, almost more Havertz-esque kind of pressure, where people are wondering... Well, He's throwing you under the bus, basically. It's all good. I'm saying it's, it's different. <laughs> it's different. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.